Here's a question I didn't know I need an answer to. What happens if we put Klaus Kinski in the leading role of a Charles Band produced Empire Pictures horror movie during the mid 80s? Well, I have the answer, and it is a mixed one. I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and this is the 1986 film Crawl Space. Crawl Space puts us in an apartment building, the same one used to film Troll in actually, where Klaus Kinski plays the German landlord Karl Gunther. He prefers to rent out to beautiful young single women, and it is not just because he likes the company of the opposite sex. He has constructed hidden passageways through the walls, a perfect hideout for him while he's spying on his young tenants. His newest tenant is a young student named Lori, played by Tina Balsam. But even though we would think she would be the leading character, she gets put in the background when a man shows up to confront Gunther about his violent past. He accuses Gunther of being a murderer, and what will be revealed is that he is not only a pervert invading the privacy of his tenants, but also a madman addicted to murder. So be it. So, Crawl Space has some good stuff going for it. Klaus Kinski as a psycho is good enough selling point on its own to get me on board, and it doesn't disappoint. He's such a great figure on the screen in everything he does, and Crawl Space is no exception. Kinski is always in another universe than the rest of us mortals, and he's such an interesting figure that it's hard to dislike him, even if he by all accounts was a real dick to be around. In fact, the director of Crawl Space, David Schmoller, made a 10 minute long video back in 1999 talking about his frustrations of working with Kinski on this picture. Hearing him speak about how the Italian producer offered to have Kinski killed off is both funny and tells a lot about what kind of person Kinski was to work with. Smallish video is called Please Kill Mr. Kinski, and I recommend that you watch it on YouTube, regardless if you decide to check out Crawl Space or not. On the fourth day of shooting I showed up on the set. The Italian producer had a pleasant smile on his face. He explained he had a solution to our problem with Mr. Kinski. He was going to kill him for the insurance money. Speaking of Schmoller, he also wrote the screenplay for this. I'm not sure if it's fair to blame him for the uneven tone of the film. It's hard to pinpoint what exactly Crawl Space is supposed to be, since it has such a huge focus on Kinski's character, you would believe that he would dwell deep into his psyche, but it kind of just briefs past it, occasionally displaying the darkness that lies within him without committing to go fully into it. When the film turns into a generic slasher in the last 20 minutes, it doesn't work as well as intended, as we hardly have anyone to care for. Tina Balsam's character Lori has hardly gotten any screen time at this point, and I know very little about her even an hour into the film, which makes it hard to have her work as a final girl. That's not of any fault of Miss Balsam however, as she seems to fit the role of this cute, innocent young woman quite well. She just doesn't get enough to work with. Crawl Space was produced by Charles Band's Empire Pictures, and it didn't look like they gave the filmmakers all that much money to work with. The majority of the scenes are filmed inside this apartment complex, and it has a bland look to it that won't get you visually intrigued. There are also lack of kill scenes, as many happen off screen, and that's not what we want to see as horror fans. So absolutely don't go into this if you are a gorehound who are only out for something bloody and disgusting. <laughs> An interesting aspect of the crew is that the director of photography was none other than the Italian Sergio Salvatti, a name that should be familiar to fans of Lucio Fulci, as Salvatti was his cinematographer on a total of 11 films, including some of Fulci's masterpieces like Zombie, The Beyond and City of the Living Dead. In the end, Crawl Space doesn't have all that much going for it, but it does have Klaus Kinski as a perverted landlord with a dark past. The potential of that isn't fully taken advantage of, and I was left thinking of what this could have been. Crawl Space is entertaining enough to make it worth a watch if you have no better alternatives available, as it never becomes boring, but yet never gets you hooked either. Crawl Space gets the average and OK score of 2.5 out of 5. Have you seen Crawl Space, and what is your favorite Klaus Kinski performance? I still have plenty to watch from his filmography, so as of today I would have to say Nosferatu the Vampire from 1979. If you want to hear me talk more about horror movies from 1986, then check out my top 10 list of that year, which should be popping up in a bubble on the screen in a few moments. 
Please do leave a like, subscribe and all of that kind stuff if you enjoyed this video on Crawl Space. And do come back for more videos on everything horror related here on Cinema Terror. Thank you.